<laughs> Even Fur Dabs is laughing. Yeah, Fur Dabs is laughing, <laughs> Sanchai's laughing, we're laughing. Only good times at TIE Fight. <laughs> Well, we've come to it, boys and girls. The final bout of this evening's festival is here in Phuket, Thailand. And there you can see Fear Dav's boy Nazarov, 27-year-old fighter from Uzbekistan, 170 centimeters tall. This fight at 66 kilograms. Professional record, 47 fights, 29 wins, 16 losses, and two draws. Now, of course, Sanchai fought his older brother previously at Thai fight and defeated him pretty easily. I mean, he really frustrated Anvar in that fight. And so now it's his brother's turn. It's coming for vengeance. Yeah. Seems like there's like a, some sort of blood feud going on here. Who's next, the dad? <laughs> the mom. <laughs> and there he is, Sanchai, PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jim, 38 years old, originally from Maha Sarakam in Thailand, 163 centimeters tall, 357 fights, 306 victories. 49 losses with two draws. A four-weight stadium champion, Thai Fight Karchek 2016 champion. Thai Fight 2017 and 18 champion as well. Considered to be one of, if not the greatest Muay Thai fighter of all time. Sanchai, PK Sanchai, Muay Thai Jim headlining Thai Fight. Not for the first time. The 10-year anniversary of Thai Fight headlined by the greatest. Yeah, and really probably his most important accolade is Peter Denman is, uh, really likes him. <laughs> <laughs> He's made it. <laughs> <laughs> Love to laugh at my own jokes. Somebody's got to do it. 38 years old on a 44-fight winning streak. 32 of those victories have come here at Thai Fight. Probably one of the most beloved fighters in all of Muay Thai. Yeah, he's just got it all. He really has. He's the kind of guy that if you're small and jealous, you probably hate him, but he's so charming that you just end up loving him still anyways. <laughs> he's charismatic. He's a showman. He's just an incredible tactician in the ring. He's got surprising power in his left hand. I'm not sure how it's still surprising because everybody knows about it. But the question that we always ask is... We wait for Father Time to catch exactly up, right. but Father Time clearly doesn't have Google Maps. He clearly is a woman driver. I can't say that anymore, no, can I? definitely not. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> but he's lost, and he can't find Sanchai. Sanchai has eluded him for all these years, and yeah, we keep waiting for him to slow down. Sanchai to show some signs of age, but he just... Sanchai must have cartwheel kicked him. That's what cartwheel happened. kicked Father Time. <laughs> It's really just been an honor and a pleasure and a gift to to be here and to call his fights. Yeah, this to is witness the ten, greatness. Of course, it's the ten-year anniversary of Thai Fight, but we've been working for them now for, since uh, 2015. And it, like you said, it's been a, an absolute privilege. To Every be able time. To call Sanchai, to be able to call the other fighters as well. I don't get the butterflies in my stomach like I did the first time I called his fight, but um. I still pretty much smile well, yeah, from still, ear to ear while honest, I'm calling his fight. I'm trying to keep it cool around the hotel when I see him, but really inside I'm like, <laughs> hey, oh my god, it's hey, sunshine. Sanchai. It's sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, ultimately, there's a, there's a very strong possibility. You know, you never get a definitive answer for these kind of arguments, but there's a very strong possibility that he's the greatest Muay Thai fighter in the history of the world. So, you know, just to, to be able to witness something like that, yeah, it's it, pretty special. It'll be a small part of his history is really nice for us, right? So I'm just kind of looking down the card now. We've had, this will be the 10th fight, of course. First, one, two, three, four, five, six knockouts. Oh, sorry, seven knockouts. Well, that's what you get when you go card check, card check, card check, card check. Of course, this fight with gloves. There's the Sanchai shuffle. Nice kick to the body. From well, there's no slouch, though. He's fought kickboxing many times. Trains out of Tiger Muay Thai, like you said, with his brother Anvar. Good luck kick there from yeah, Fergus. Really nice, really nice. Yeah, he obviously comes from a fighting family. I'm sure his brother gives, has given him many tips. Anvar, no slouch, of course. Anvar. Anvar's a very successful fighter. He just didn't have a good fight against Sanchai. Oh, not that many do. From Sanchai. Well, you have to remember that Anvar, Fergus' brother, knocked out Fabio Pinker. Pinker beat Sanchai, so. 
like matchups. Yeah, like I said. Honestly, I feel like Ferdinand has already had a more successful fight against Sancho. Oh, that should move back on the genius. If I remember correctly, Ember had a really hard time just getting his strikes off. Inside fight kick from Sanchai. Third down, so one moving forward, Sanchai on the counter. Question mark kick connects. We've seen him knock people out with that. Nice kick in the section yeah, from Sanchai. Almost connected to the hit, another take down there by nice Sanchai. Cheap to trip. You can actually see Anbar in the corner right now, just having a great old time. Good left hand there from Sunshine. Not many people know this, but Sunshine has had a few five professional boxing fights. Win them all, of course. Of course. Really nice knees to the body there from Sunshine. Honestly, the straight knee is not really a technique he uses that much. But... Good body kick there from third up. Sunshine trying to enter the bindings. Left hand. Inside kick. Left hand, followed by left knee, followed by right elbow. Combinations. What a beautiful knee. I wonder if that's something that he just... Maybe he saw it as an opening in Floyd Nazaroff's technique. He's really using it a lot here in the first round. That's high kick. Push kick to the midsection from by Nazaroff. Oh! Quick in left hand there from Sunshine. So again, he's pitching the distance with that left hand. Yeah, using the right, this is a distraction as well. Open up. That was a same sort with that left hand, so he feels he can connect with it. I'm sure he feels like he can connect with everything. <laughs> There's that left hand kick again. Yeah, boy, boy, now he's upset that he's gone, but... Still has enough power to, to move him backwards. Five times kick from the roof there. Can't be a kick from Sancho! And then he'll get a fake time off from the ref. <laughs> yeah. And end of Cartwheel kick. It always feels like in his fights there's like a checklist of techniques that he's gonna go through. That axe kick connected right to the head as well. Third off is tough. There's that knee that he really like two or three knees that he landed, and there's a beautiful elbow as well in that first round. But you know, a really good round as well for Boy Nazarov. I mean he lost the round, but he was able to move forward at, at times. He was able to land a few kicks and Honestly, there are some fighters that don't land a single strike, it seems like, in fights against Sanchai. So, well done for Boy Nazarov, and we'll see what happens here in round two. And the only decent weapon I've seen from Boy Nazarov, really, that could cause Sanchai problems is that right high kick. I thought the low kick that he, that he landed at the start of the fight was really well, really well played. You know, in any, any other fighter, I agree with you, but I think Sanchai's legs are so weathered and so tough yeah. that I don't think it matters. That was the same kind of way oh. kick that Boy Nazarov landed at the start of the fight. Oh, that can't the calf. I to take out the body of Sunshine, the 38 year old. Little left kick there from Sunshine. Driven in that right knee. <laughs> Offering a hand to get him up. Sanchai has fantastic head movement. You know, in traditional Muay Thai, especially in the stage groups, it's supposed to be able to stand there and take the shots. You don't really see many fighters with tremendous head movement. I think that's where another facet that Sanchai has over every other Muay Thai fight in history. Good body kick! Yeah, his angles, oh, oh, oh. his angles and his movement. There's the Sanchai kiss. Right there. Oh, he got two! Oh, lucky you, boy, <laughs> Nasra. <laughs> Great combinations there from Sancho. There's that low kick. Unlike a lot of the other fights here at Tie Fight, it doesn't really load up with one shot. It's all it about the combos. You. Right. It you. And just when you cut it up, it finds a way through. Sancho holding on. A right smile though from the legend. The Picasso of the Tie Fight canvas. 
Body kick there from Ferdas. That's the kick back guys, bit of a low one. To the point of one. To the point of one. Off that kick. Off that kick. Looking at the square, that was there. Going for that half kick again. Good technique for him, but he missed that time. Full kick followed by a right high, just connects to the glove, not the chin. What? And two more kisses. I'm gonna start keeping a kiss count here. Hey, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> what are those white feels? Come here. When he gets home. Just Top that rope lesson. One technique we haven't seen yet is the switch kick, right? One with the, one of the, the most jumping. Big... Yeah, pretty much got what he wanted in that round, but I mean, Boy Nazarov's hanging tough. He had a harder time finding his strikes. And there's that beautiful dunk from Sanchai. Yeah, it's a bit weird to say, but uh, Boy Nazarov's been kissed by Sanchai and he's been dumped by Sanchai all in one fight. Very nice, man. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, really and playing with his emotions. Denman enjoyed it. Well, boys and girls, final round of the evening and of the fight, of course here at Thai Fight Phuket. An amazing night, a spectacular extravaganza of Muay Thai. Yeah, really great atmosphere here as well. Sadly comes to an end. Sanchai having fun, the ref having fun, the boy Nazarov's having fun. <laughs> it's contagious, it really is. Again, great sportsmanship from uh, both fighters. Third and final round. That's high kick. Inside fly kick from uh, Ferdav, just looking for that left hand. Another nice kick to the body as well. He's going out swinging. Oh. Left kick, left hand there from the goal. Attempts to sweep. Left high kick, left hand again there from Sanchai. Solid left knee. bit of marking on the left forehead of Boy Nazarov, but other than that, he's, he's weathered the storm pretty well. That's kiss number five, I believe. So now he's been kissed, dumped, and then kissed again. He must be real mixed up. Oh, spinning back elbow from Sanchai. You don't usually see that from Sanchai. And he gets dumped after attempted axe kick. It's about time he got dumped, right? <laughs> His turn. Again. Whirlwind romance. Good left knee, fake the left hand and then went straight through the hand again. Yeah, it's been a really good technique for him in this fight. Straight knee to the body. So good Dagger in. Again. 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 Really high scoring technique in Muay Thai as well. As well as Chris Pogg is a difficult pain for your opponent. It's a nice low kick there from Boy Nazarov. Sanchai up to Back to that left kick. Looking for the knee, but again, he gets uh, goes down after a low kick from Boy Nazarov. Left knee again, and again. Yeah, I really do think those low kicks from Boy Nazarov have, I don't want to say they bothered Sanchai, but he's feeling them you know, he's for seen, sure. Rarely do we see Sanchai on the, uh, on the canvas. No. He might have a bit of a hitch in his step tomorrow, and that might be from Boy Nazarov. And, and you can really tip your hat for that. Oh, that's how I tip your neck that time. And a nice straight knee there from Sentai. Yeah, left hand to the body, falls it over the knee. So, so, he's just so great. So great. And again. Oh. He's just to the 
Space there. Yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Really uh, strong showing from Boy Nazarov, I and mean, it's not going to be enough to to get the win. But honestly, Aaron, I think that Ferdas competed at a, at a higher level versus Sentai than his brother did. Did you catch any of that? Well, boys and girls, we do love some decisions. We're pretty confident Sanchez is going to get the nod. Absolute pleasure again. Thank you for joining us here at Tie Fight Phuket. I'm in Arizona, Sampan. Are you still? Still am. Still I'm Adam Hart. <laughs> after three and a bit something years here at Tie Fight. Oh my goodness. It's getting crazy in there. I'm Adam Martin. Thank you for joining us here at Tie Fight Phuket, and we will see you next time. Next time in the Fuzzy Summer. Wonderful. Good night. ทั้งมวยไทยไทยของเรานะครับขอให้ไทยกลับทุกท่านนะครับไทยมากเพื่อกันนะครับไทยมากด้วยกันนะครับหลังจากจบในการนี้เอาละครับคู่สุดท้